my beautiful angels hi welcome back to my channel so uh, if you guys are new to my channel hi I'm Mibeline I'm one of the beauty influencer I do makeup videos product reviews and all the other jazz but without the drama <laughs> uh, so in today's video I'm going to give you my first fall look it's a very wimpy very bold very full-on look so um, if you want to see how to create this amazing glam just carry on watching this video but before you leave if you're new to my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so every time I'm posting a video you will get a notification and hmm, let's just not waste any more time and get into this video thank you for watching bye hey my angels so there we go for this video we are going to begin with some primer i'm using my dominic cosmetics ultra hydrating primer uh, along with alf um, party primer i'm just using the alf one just to fill up my pores because as much as i love my dominic cosmetics uh, primer the only thing is it's only good for a hydration purposes it doesn't really fill your pores or anything so if you are using that you might want to use another primer to fill your pores for my foundation i just mixed my two favorite from drugstore which is l'oreal infallible and l'oreal total coverage um i just mixed the both all the shades will be mentioned in the description box below i just mixed both of these uh, foundations and applied with my artiste oval brush this one is number eight i believe I love using the Artis uh, brushes now and again, especially when I just want to cover my body as well to match my face, like all the exposed part of my body. If I want to match that, Artis brush works really, really, really well um, because it's just the shape and it's really, really dense. It really just gives you a really flawless finish um, because it's winter and um, fall now, you tend to will get a little bit more drier on a skin side so i'm just actually applying cover fx illuminating setting spray on my face before going with any other product that just helps me to get a little bit more dewiness on my face uh, for my dark circles i'm using josie moran vibrancy argan oil um, concealer this is my favorite concealers to do the dark circles because it's very very close to my own skin tone and it covers my dark circles really really well and I'm blending this with my stands out beauty sponge and I'm just making sure um, when I'm blending my uh, concealer I only do uh, like a pouncing motion instead of dragging motion otherwise you'll take all the concealer off for rest of my face and for brightening I've used a benefit cosmetic Boeing cakeless concealer and for my contour I'm using Becca cosmetics cream bronzer contour product you can say as i said all the uh, uh, shades will be mentioned in the description box below this used to be my favorite product from becca i haven't used it for a very 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 long time but when i was going through my drawers the other day i was just like oh i haven't tried this for a long time so and i literally fell in love with this again it does have a very ashy tone though so if you don't like very ashy tone or harsh contour you might not like this one but it does give you a really nice chiseled look um, and I blended that with my another artist oval brush and I think that one is believe I believe that one is number six it's a slightly smaller than the foundation one but it's exactly the same shape just to it um, like intensify my uh, contour a little bit more I'm actually going with this Juvia's Place um, uh, buffer brush with the same backup product and just applying it a little bit more because I felt like it I just needed a little bit more warmth uh, I, I felt like I was looking really pale that's why I just added a little bit more and I've blended everything like my concealer and all that with my stands out beauty sponge for my blush I've used new stick all uh, full face uh, stick in shade sun kissed if you've seen my previous like past few videos you will notice this is becoming one of my favorite products especially as a cream or a brush or a bronzer this is so 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 good it gives you the most natural looking skin with a bit of a uh, rosy like flesh kind of thing it's super nice for my uh, highlighter i just use the milk shop highlighter 
um, I just used few drops before going with my setting powder and for setting powder I'm using uh, <laughs> I'm using Maybelline fit me loose setting powder in shade light medium i'm using this particular powder just to do my t-zone and my under eye area um, that's where i tend to get a little bit more oily but for rest of my face i use the benefit uh, flawless uh, powder which is more like a compact foundation uh, for my bronzer i use tarte cosmetics bronzer in shade princess avenue and just use that to contour my nose as well before i did anything i just set my face using elf dewy setting mist um, drying with my patrick ta fan <laughs> and and Great. for this particular video, I actually used this new technique, a hack. I just actually applied a lash glue on my lash, on my brows, brushed it in and then went with my eye pencil. Um, and it, I have to tell you this, though, this gave me the most amazing, fluffy, um, like a brow, waxed brow kind of look. I absolutely loved it. I think this is going to be my new favorite hack. For my um, um, eye base, I used the Benefit Concealer again as my eye base and I just used that to carve my brow bone as well. To set my um, eye base, I used the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. Um, just like went with the not very heavy hand very light layer of the powder uh, so it gives me a nice canvas to uh, work with uh, to work with um what did i do next <laughs> oh for eyeshadows i use my juvia's place eyeshadow palette and this one is the Haran palette i just picked up the first shade i picked up is this bright orange mustard coppery tone and i just applied this right in my outer part of my eye this is going to give me the most warm um warmth like a warm look um on the outer part of my eye because the whole thing i was going with the fall eyeshadow was i wanted my outer eye to look really like warm and as i'm going in a in a really look really dark um and now I'm actually using a couple of Scott Barnes uh, new brushes in this video too. I will write down in the description box below the one I used. They are so, so good. Makes your life so much easier. Everything went on so nicely. This particular eyeshadow palette from Juvia's Place is really nice anyway. The, all the eyeshadow palettes I tried so far from them are the quality is so amazing. Um, now I just picked up the dark brown shade and I'm applying this with the angle um, eyeshadow palette brush and i'm just keeping that again on the outer part of my eye i just didn't want it to go look too like brownishy i still wanted the orange to peek through that's why i'm keeping it quite low below to the orange now i picked up this beautiful uh, shimmery pigmentary um cranberry shade and i applied that all over my lid um first i went with just with the brush and i didn't actually wet my brush it still gave me a really good payoff but if you want this to look super duper intense either wet your brush or just apply it with a finger i actually went uh, right at the end i actually applied uh, one more coat just with my finger and it gave me the most amazing like really intense cranberry looking eye it was so so good the camera is not even doing the justice how good this eye look was looking in like reality in real life the colors were so warm so perfect so intense i absolutely love this palette this is this is a really nice must-have fall palette i personally think so you should really put this in your collection because their eyeshadows are amazing for my eyeliner i use the huda beauty liquid eyeliner and i use the same the other part of this eyeliner which is a pencil as my in my sorry in my waterline just to intensify my waterline as well usually i go with the nude uh, eye pencil but for this particular look i just wanted my eye, eyes to look super intense that's why i went with the black eyeliner before i put my lashes i just curled my lashes and applied a coat of mascara and i believe for this particular in this particular video i use the essence waterproof mascara which is one of my 
favorite mascaras from drugstore i think this particular mascara is even better than some of the high-end brands i have quite a few different ones from essence and they all worked really 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 well i absolutely love them and the one thing i have to mention about this mascara is when it dries down it doesn't become flaky or anything and falls on your face and mess up all your makeup it doesn't do that for my lashes i'm using my boss babe lashes in style superwoman it is oh my god my favorite lash brand right now i have been using them from past two three months and my lash game has changed completely especially using this hack where you apply your lash glue for directly on your eye and then put the lash on it just it's just a game changer it made my life so much easier my lashes looks absolutely perfect this stays on all day long nothing goes away if i until i take them off they just stays on and for the glue i actually use the do uh adhesive clear glue but if you that is good i'm not gonna lie but if you really want your lashes not to move just go with the huda beauty lash glue or even like lower lashes glue they are they just don't move at all um i'm um, just intensifying my blush using my elizabeth arden blush in shade uh what is the shade blush pink um I think it is blush pink but I will write down all the shades in the description box below for my highlighter I use the Jaclyn Hill collaboration with Becca's champagne pop the blush palette and I just use the shade a Prosecco pop and uh, I just applied that all over my uh, face wherever I had my cream product I just topped it up with the uh, powder highlighter for my lip liner i am using hard candy um, matte um, lip kit and this is in shade dahlia it, this kit has the lip liner and the liquid lip so you don't have to look for it i used the dahlia lip liner first and filled my lips up with the liquid lip which is already in the kit the both shade like the both items in this kit is called dahlia so yeah I, that one thing is this kit was in production last year so you might want to check it in your local walmart to just see if still around or not the thing with hard candy is sometimes they come out with product and then they just stop but i think this might be still around um i just filled my lips with the same liquid lip and topped it up with the plumping serum in shade 1406 this one is again from hard candy absolutely stunning lip gloss and uh just to set everything in place i use my glow recipe watermelon facial mist and i'll uh, just give a really 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 drench my face and then dried it with my patrick ta fan and that's about it hope you guys enjoyed this look if you have any questions don't forget to ask me in the comment section below everything will be mentioned in the description box below thank you so much for watching love you all take care and happy fall